opening with the king's pawn controls the center and opens up the light squared bishop and queen, often leading to sharp games. The French defense prepares for d5, but blocks in the light squared bishop in exchange for a strong center and counter attacking chances. d4 grabs full control of the center and opens up the dark squared bishop. d5 is a counter attack in the center that threatens the e4 pawn. And c3 defends the e4 pawn and pressures the d5 pawn. And f6 defends the d5 pawn and also attacks the e4 pawn. Bg5 pins the knight on f6 and threatens e4 e5. Bb4 develops the bishop and pins the knight on c3 to the king. e5 closes the center and attacks the pinned knight on f6. h6 attacks the bishop on g5 forcing white to either retreat the bishop or exchange it for the knight on f6. Bd2 retreats the bishop and unpins the knight on c3. Bxc3 captures the knight and attacks the bishop on d2 and the pawn on b2. Bxc3 captures the bishop, supports the d4 pawn and opens up the b-file. Ne4 places the knight on a center square where it attacks the bishop on d2 and the pawn on c3. Qg4 develops the queen, attacks the g7 pawn and the knight on e4. G6 stops QXG7 from white and controls the F5 and H5 squares. BD3 develops the bishop toward the center and attacks the knight on E4. NXD2 captures the bishop and forces white to recapture with the king. KXD2 recaptures the piece. C5 takes space in the center, attacks the D4 pawn and prepares to develop the queen's knight behind the C pawn, white must be mindful of the C4 pawn push. Nf3 develops the knight toward the center and protects the d4 pawn. This develops a bishop off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is the last book move. This ignores an opportunity to threaten winning a pawn. It is an inaccuracy. This is a fair move. It is good. This is not the best. It is an inaccuracy. This defends the attacked pawn. It is best. That's a sensible reply. It is excellent. This develops a queen off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is excellent. This overlooks a better way to centralize a knight so it controls more squares. It is a mistake. The rooks can see each other now, allowing them to provide mutual defense. This is the only move that works. This threatens to kick a knight. It is a great move. This overlooks an opportunity to develop a rook off its starting square. It is a mistake. This misses a great but hard to find move. It is an inaccuracy. After all captures, this is an equal trade. It is best. This captures a pawn and eliminates a threat. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This evades the check from the queen. It is best. This defends a vulnerable rook by pinning one of its attackers. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This loses a knight. This threatens to win a pawn. It is an inaccuracy. Only one move worked there, and this wasn't it. This misses an opportunity to win a knight. It is a miss. This misses the chance to get a more equal position. It is a miss. This was a game changing move giving black a winning position. It is a great move. This is the way to win a pawn. It is best. This blocks an attack on a vulnerable rook. It is good. This overlooks an opportunity to take an outpost with a knight. It is an inaccuracy. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. That rook was free for the taking. It is best. This places a rook on the seventh rank, Activating the rook and restricting the opponent's king. This is the only good move. This threatens to play checkmate. It is best. This prevents the opponent from being able to play checkmate. It is good. This is the way to win a bishop. It is best.